Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Saturday, March 28th, 2020. Hey listen, we're going to forego our NFL previews for one day. We'll have our next team preview on Sunday because I wanted to talk about the only show in town right now, which is of course the Florida Derby at Gulfstream Park. And I'm going to give you a couple of plays in just a moment here on the video, but I uh, wanted to mention if you're looking for a complete day of racing, uh, I talked to Rafael Esparza on Friday. You might know Rafael from DocSports.com. Uh, you also will know him if you're a veteran and have been around betting in the state of Nevada for many years and, of course, elsewhere. Uh, Rafael, one of the premier lines makers both in Nevada and outside of the state of Nevada. And uh, he's also a horse racing expert, and he says that he will be involved in seven races on Saturday. So, listen, if you're looking for a whole day of racing, uh, he's a guy that uh, I can vouch for that does his work, no doubt about it. So, there you go. If you're looking for somebody to get you throughout the entire race card, the race day, uh, be sure to go to DocSports.com and check out his picks. As far as what I'm doing, I'm just talking about the Florida Derby on this report. Going to give you a couple of suggestions and let you know what I'm doing. As you know by now, uh, this does have a lot of history worth tracking when it comes to the Florida Derby. 13 of the last 14 Florida Derby races have been won by a horse that ran their previous race at Gulfstream Park. 11 of the last 14, I'm sure you've heard by now, 11 of the last 14 winners of the Derby won their previous race. So winning form, familiarity with the chat track obviously matters quite a bit in this particular race. And pay attention uh, to favorites, to top contenders, and while only one real true favorite has won since 2013, every Florida Derby winner since 2013 has been priced at nine to two or less. So you're gonna wanna look at contenders, you're gonna wanna look at the favorites, there's no doubt about that. And with all that in mind, Horses with surface familiarity and those that have been successful of late heading into the Florida Derby have certainly been the way to go. Listen, I did think about one kind of long shot. I was thinking about Candy Tycoon, uh, but of course, and it was around 20 to one. A lot of people still, you know, were talking about it as recently as like Wednesday or Thursday, uh, but Javier Castellano, which was going to be the jockey for Candy Tycoon, as you know by now, uh, tested positive for the virus. So no more Candy Tycoon for me. Instead, here's what I'm gonna do, and we're gonna keep it short this particular video. Tis the law. Listen, I know it's six to five, five dollars one six, all that kind of good stuff. But it's the, it's the horse to beat. There's no doubt before this horse starts. Highest speed figure this year. Incredible acceleration. Uh, likes the surface. Fast, powerful workouts. All of the above are held or checked in those boxes by Tis the Law. And so what I'm looking to do is even though the odds are, you know, six to five, listen, I mean, if you can put a few bucks on it to win, like a hundred bucks to win, I think that's one way to go. That's just what I'm doing. You got to do what you got to do. Uh, as far as another horse that I'm looking at to play just to win, Independence Hall, currently at nine to two, solid numbers, strong presser, uh, runner up at the Sam Davis Stakes. Should have won that race if you saw. Uh, the reason it didn't win was because of setup if you saw that particular race. Only draw back for Independence Hall is that it's not raced on this Gulf Stream surface, this Gulf Stream track. Uh, and, and so that's really the only drawback from the history that I just told you over the last dozen or so uh, Florida Derby races. Now, what I would recommend highly, if you don't want to bet Independence Hall to win, is to include Independence Hall on any exotics that you might play. Again, all I'm looking to do is a two-win play on Tis the Law and uh, making it a big enough wager to where it matters to me. But again, we're not going crazy with this. This is some good fun stuff to do on Saturday. And then Independence Hall will be a two-win play for me. And it, that's going to be it for me. I'm not going to get involved with the exotics. So again, Tis the Law to win bet, Independence Hall to win bet. And that's the way I'm looking to go. And again, uh, listen, if you agree, jump on board. If not, stick to your guns and do what you think is best for you. Uh, and again, if you're looking for a full day of racing from a very strong horse racing mind, check out Rafael Esparza. Again, he's got uh, seven races going on Saturday. And uh, so again, you'll have a situation where you can play along for the entire day with Rafael. And I do know a thing or two about a thing or two about guys who do their work. Listen, I've said this before, it's been a long time since last 
last year's Kentucky Derby that I spoke about this, but I do have an uncle through marriage. It's passed on by now, uh, or as of now, I should say, passed away a few years ago, but my uncle Bobby Mundorf, or Robert Mundorf, who was a world-class jockey. He was jockey of the year one year in the 60s at uh, Del Mar, and I was around him in my young years, man, as a young child, holiday get-togethers, dinners, things like that. So, and we've got a family full of starters and all that kind of stuff when it comes to horse racing, the older generations. But uh, anyway, Check out Rafi's picks if you like those over at DocSports.com. And again, to win bets for me on uh, Tis the Law in Independence Hall. And again, we will be back here with uh, our next NFL 2020 team preview report on Sunday. That'll be around 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific time. Hey, best of luck in the Florida Derby on Saturday. Let's put them in the win column. If you like the videos, click on the thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. We'll talk to you Sunday with our next NFL preview.